All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honor to our apostle and Israel, Mr. On salutation to you. Hopefully, like that, there. Teach me more truth, sincerity on the brother Amar. Come back as you another video, and Lord willing, this be edifying. But, um, as you already know, man, uh, today is, um, uh, October 25th, uh, 2020, and, uh, we're coming around, uh, uh rolling around uh, the time of elections. All right, uh, which elections will be next week? Uh, well, uh, on the uh, yeah, I can say well, pretty much basically next week because uh, you know, today is pretty much over with. But um, elections will be on the, I think the third of November, which like I said is only a little, a little over a week. So um, you know, uh, be prepared for what's about to get ready to happen or take place. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video regarding how our people they still trust in this place, man. All right. No matter what we tell them, what um, <laughs> what they seen throughout the years, um, you know the constant uh, uh the constant uh lies, uh the constant uh promises of how these um politicians will make things better, even though they haven't, you know what I mean throughout the years, or if they have, it's been um insignificant to the point where it hasn't um balanced out, um. And then that that's our people though, man. Our people refuse to um you know, trust in Yahweh by Shem Yah Shah. They 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 trust in Egypt, man. And for trusting in Egypt, the Lord will, you know, um He pretty much gonna give you over to this uh this this damn devil, alright, because you, you refuse to uh, trust in the Heavenly Father. But without further ado, man, um let me just grab this preset, man. This is the book of uh, Lamentations four verse seventeen. As for us, our eyes are at yet our eyes as yet failed for our vain hope. It says, In our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us, man. They hunt our steps, they cannot go. It says uh, that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near, our days are fulfilled, our end is come. Yeah, man, that's our people, man. You know what I mean? Our people is is the scriptures say they um we watch for a people, they watch for a nation that cannot save us, man. Yeah, I mean that's not counting the elect, man. Because the the Lord's elect, we will um, we will uh, put our faith and our trust into Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. All right, but as for the majority of our people, which is pretty much the two thirds, the non-believers, they will continue to trust in this this man and his system that he has set up, man. It has always been like that. Even when you literally uh, read the scriptures and you go back to the time of Moses, man, you had our people um, that was uh, trusting in Egypt, man. All right, that was uh, satisfied with the things that uh, that Egypt, um, you know, um, uh, presented to them. All right, the things that they had access to in that in that wicked kingdom. All right, it's nothing different, man. That's why Scripture said there's no new, nothing new under the sun. But uh, this is Jeremiah chapter eight. And it's, and it's a damn shame too, man. Um, Jeremiah chapter seven, verse eight. It says, "Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit, man." And and once again, this is our people to a T, man. All right, they they trust in lying words that cannot profit. Cause here it is, like I may mention earlier, these politicians, man, all they do is promise uh, Jake, um, you know, uh, things um, uh, every four years, man. All right, they they promise that they're gonna, uh, you know, <laughs> give them better health care. You know, they promise that they're gonna, uh, you know, lower uh, taxes. You know what I mean, they promise that they're gonna probably have, um they're gonna have better um you know jobs rolling in and unemployment is gonna go down. Man, none of these things that they have spoken on have come to pass, man. All right, or and, and then like I said, if that if it has come to pass, it has made no type of significant um uh um it, you know it, it made no pretty much it didn't make a dent, man. All right. And uh, the our people's problems, man. That's what I'm trying to say, man. All right, you know what I mean. Like I said, Jake's still catching hell, if not catching more hell. All right, and things have gotten worse, man. That's why I said once again. Well, that's why the scriptures say. Excuse me, the scriptures say Jeremiah seven and eight, man. Behold, ye trust in lying words that cannot profit, man. They refuse to put their trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahusha, and um, like I said, for that man, the Lord is gonna give you over to your uh. You know, to your demise, man. All right, this is Jer. This is Isaiah chapter thirty, verse one. It says, "Woe to the rebellious children," said the Lord, "that that take counsel, but not of me, man." 
Yeah, man. And what do you do when you ultimately take counsel, man? Let's let's look this word up real quick, man. All right. Look up um. Look up the word counsel. Cause when you take counsel, is 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 usually um, you know, to to get a uh to you know to get answers on things, man. All right, to get better understanding on things, man. <laughs> so lucky, man. I'm, I ain't the best speller, man. Counsel. Okay, here we go. Uh, counsel, advice or instruction given, mutual advising or inter interchange of opinions, constellation, advice, deliberation, thought, um, opinion, plan, from a, a simulated form of calm with, together, assess a uh, root of, or to announce, summon. You know what I mean? But going back to the main point, all right, it's, uh, it's um, advice, man. All right, they refuse to take advice or instruction, man. All right? Or if they do take advice or instruction, it's, it's, it's given to them from another source outside of Yahweh Shem Shah. So going back, now we've got the word counsel. It means uh, instruction or advice. It says Isaiah 30, verse 1. O to the rebellious children, which is the nation of Israel, two-thirds. It says, saith the Lord, that take counsel... That take advice, all right. <laughs> that take advice or what a, a instruction. That take advice, but not of me. It says, and that and that covering with a and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin, man. Yeah, they 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 they, they cover with a covering, but not of Yahweh Shem Shah. And they take counsel, they take advice, but not from the scriptures, man. Because the scriptures say, uh, the Lord come in the volume of the, uh, volume of the book. All right, with a uh, Hebrew seven fourteen. All right, matter of fact, let's see, I ain't, I ain't got any, cause I'm already here real quick, man. Uh, what was it? Uh, it might be fourteen. Was it fourteen? Uh, seven. Uh, for low, I come in the volume of the book. Hmm. Just want to make sure I got that right. Man, I could have sworn this was it. Volume of the book. <laughs> it's a lucky, y'all. Uh, damn, man. There we go, man. 10 and 7. Hebrews 10, verse 7, man. It says, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O Lord, O Yahweh. So, yeah. All right, the scriptures say he had come. He comes in the volume of the book, man. So going back uh, to the point, our our people refuse to take a uh, counsel that that the, yeah Yahweh Bashem Yosha is pretty much ordained uh, from the beginning, man. All right. So uh, if they're not taking counsel from the scriptures, where they taking counsel from, or who they taking counsel from, their father Esau, pretty much. The scriptures say uh, you have your father the devil. This is Isaiah thirty verse one. It says, um, that walk, uh, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked them at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. Yeah, man. They, they trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. They trust in the, because the, the modern day uh, Egypt is, is this place, Babylon the Great. It says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust of the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion, man. Yes, yeah, so ultimately everything that you put your you place your trust in is gonna be to your shame. It's gonna be to your confusion, man. Here it is, you think these people got your best interests at heart, but in all actuality, they um they doing all type of demonic evil activity, man. All right. You know, torturing people behind the scenes and you know what I mean, um chanting out chanting uh, uh, uh you know, spells on people and you know, all type of weird stuff, man. All right, but these are people they 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 don't want to acknowledge it, or, or they don't believe um, you know that these people are, are are capable of doing such things. But these are the same people that descend from these uh <laughs> these these devils that was hanging you, uh, not too long ago, man, in the sixteen fifteen hundreds, even in the early nineteen hundreds, man. Verse five, man. It says they it says they were all ashamed of a people that cannot profit them, nor be in a help, nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach, man. Yeah, so these these people, man, they they once again they're not a profit to you. They can't profit you, all right, nor are they a help to you, man. 
all they do is all they gonna do is bring shame and confusion, especially in these latter days when you start to figure out or really see that this devil he don't vibe with you, man. All right, he don't vibe with you at all, man. All right, let me get these last few scriptures. I'm gonna close it, man. That's why, as for us, man, we just gonna you know have faith in y'all, bunch of shine in this process, which is the scriptures, and just um, mostly let the Lord do the you know do what He do, you know. Um, this is uh. This is uh Psalms chapter one thirty. Let me see uh let me see uh Yeah, Psalms one thirty verse uh five. I says scripture say I wait I wait for the Lord, my soul doeth wait, and in his word do I hope, man. So as for us, man, we just gonna you know, hope for elect, Lord willing I'm part of that number. We're just gonna hope and pray for y'all by Shemel Shah that his word um comes to pass uh soon. Because like I said, we know it's going to come to pass. We just pray it comes sooner than later. And uh, just keep hoping in this word, man. Because these people, you know what I mean, like these politicians and stuff like that, we don't hope in them. We don't put our trust in them. And we know for a fact that they don't have our best interests at heart, man. So, you know, we just got to, um, you know, uh, keep pumping out these videos and uh, keep preaching the downfall of this wicked place, man. Um, last couple of scriptures, man. Uh, verse 6 My soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning I say more than they that watch for the morning Psalms 131 verse um, Verse um, Verse 3 Let Israel hope in the Lord And says from henceforth and forever man So you know Hey man just hope in the Lord And um, you know uh, hope in this word Like the scripture I just said for, Scripture I just said and um, Pray that this place uh, get destroyed very soon man Which more than likely um, it will be uh, probably next year, hopefully, Lord willing. Um, but we'll see what happens with these uh, elections in the next couple of um, upcoming days. Uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom and the Bible Boy.